we're going to do is we start with the trot first, and I just want to take a little look at your sitting trot first. Can we do it on the left right then? Is it better on the left? Yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter because we'll come to the right as well. Because I want you to actually not worry too much about yourself. And we just work on getting the horse a little bit more where she needs to be. That's it. Now go sitting. Make a little transition to walk. Bend her to the left. And trot down again. Within herself, she's found a way of holding her body yep. to feel secure. Yeah, so that sort of your um, that she doesn't allow the rider to affect her that much, yeah? Yep. That's good in one sense, that if you're doing the wrong thing, you're not getting a massively uh, sharp reaction. But then when you actually end up doing the right thing, you're also not getting a massively sharp reaction. Yeah. So what you have to do a little bit is you have to try to not um, be afraid to just actually break into a little bit more impulsion and a little bit more suppleness there. If she gets a bit confused, it's not a problem. You just you just calm her down, explain it to her again until she starts to understand, yeah? Now go a little bit more forward. Bend a little bit left every now and then. Just so that you constantly work a little bit on that left shape. Good. And then straight and trot on. Good. Okay. You're sitting absolutely fine in the sitting trot, but when you come down to walk, you're trying to sort of go with her too much. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Just you sit still, and she has to soften her back to you. That's it. Coming together a little bit more now. Yeah, so, good. That was much more direct. Yeah, really good. You see how now she's stopped messing around with the contact a bit as well? Yep. Just quietly settled into understanding what you want.